Hi, I'm Mike Lyons with Smart Meetings TV, and we're sitting here with Michelle Rourke, who just completed a fantastic keynote talk. And Michelle, what an interesting background you've had. I mean, you were on the world tour for 16 years as a skier, but you've most recently, in the last 10 years, founded a company called FIA, and you've kind of tied the two things together. You talked a lot in your talk about energy and how to rechannel that energy, and I think you had the audience in the palm of your hands. Tell us a little bit about how this all came about. Well, I think it really started when I was training for the 2006 Olympic Games. So I had a long ski career, uh, but it was also planked with a lot of obstacles to overcome. And one of them was seven knee surgeries. Uh, and I, they all happened at terrible times. So I missed so many Olympic Games, like the 98 Olympics, the 2002 Olympics. And, and you just have to remember to one, not let that pull your energy down, two, visualize and feel what it would be like to have everything go right and that's what you get and then you also need self-care you also need to work on your own energy body because it's doing so much for you you know we don't realize it but we're really starting to write the physics for this and proving it from a scientific perspective and i do take this stuff very very seriously and this is no longer philosophy this is physics this is science that's proving this stuff it's a really exciting time from a scientific perspective to be Proving, you know, what mystics and yogis and intuitives have oh, for thousands of years. It's really interesting to me because I've heard many times that what your brain tells you, whether it's negative or positive, it becomes the reality. And I've heard the famous story, and maybe you have, of the World Series pitcher. Then the manager went out to him on the mound, bases were loaded. He said, Whatever you do, don't throw a high ball to the sky. Never say and what you don't want. <laughs> yes, and that's exactly what he did because that's what his brain was focused. Right. But just uh, lastly, quickly on FIA, congratulations on FIA Thank Labs you. and all the work that you're doing and, and turning that into uh, a field that I, I think most people don't pay any attention to, this, this sense of smell. And how important it is. They say it is our most important sense, but our least known. And we're really proving through science it's directly related to the part of the brain associated with memory and emotion. So if you really want to reach a higher frequency, we know now through physics that our emotions are directly tied to that energy body. So what better way to do it than through your sense of smell? I mean, of course there are other ways. Massage is a great mm -hmm. way. Uh, meditation, yoga. Walk of gratitude. Gratitude walks mm -hmm. I love. I mean, it brings your energy into alignment. Well, I think we need to all brush up and look up FIA Labs and uh, find out you know, what our special um, uh, energy or bouquet. Energy, yeah. Exactly, energy bouquet, as you call it. But thank you so much, Michelle Rourke, for spending a few minutes with us thank on you. Smart Meetings TV. 